So we get asked, why did we come up with the 30 Super Carry? It's very simple, actually. It gives you nine millimeter performance in a 380 size gun. So it allows you to carry more rounds in your magazine, but does not give up anything when comparing performance to a nine millimeter. We were challenged to look at innovation in the handgun world. What are the unmet or undermet needs that the market has for handgun? Carry guns are getting smaller. Uh, people are looking for more capacity. And so we were really looking at how do we modernize the ammunition to serve those goals for these consumers. And we keep coming back to carry, carry-based, personal defense. The 380 is more convenient than the 9, so there's times when not carrying a 9 you would lean on a 380. But what we found with the modern bullet design is the 9mm is the standard. And so we looked at uh, utilizing 9mm uh, performance as kind of a benchmark across the industry. You saw law enforcement agencies, FBI go from 40 cal down to 9. That's really the expected level of performance. The largest gap in terminal performance in personal defense cartridges is between the 380 and the 9mm. So everything up to and including 380s kind of in one family, small incremental gains as you go up, and then everything in 9mm up through whatever you'd have in a handgun, small incremental gains in a whole nother family. So what we wanted to do is kind of target the terminal performance as close as we could to 9mm. It's basically a 312 diameter bullet, uh, which is kind of halfway between 30 cal and 32. Uh, we didn't really want to go with 32 simply because of the history there. You know, a lot of the early 1900s cartridges, they're, they're pretty anemic, you know, 20,000 PSI, not a lot of terminal performance. And so with that 30 cal, it kind of harks to a lot of energy, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of usefulness there. And so we really want 30 super carry, um, you know, as a cartridge design primarily for, for carry. And uh, so we thought that was a fitting name altogether. So the terminal performance of the 30 Super Carry, we started with the HST because it's a proven personal defense bullet, kind of the gold standard for 9mm, so we started there and we were able to achieve 9mm like performance, you know, 1.8 times expansion, 12 to 14 inches of penetration, exactly where you want to be for a personal defense situation. Something that we've seen in the trend in the market, people micro compact 9s, can we get more rounds on board? And then the other piece is, can we exceed that terminal performance of 380 and get up to where 9mm is with something that could allow you either the more capacity or a more concealable gun? Can we make a gun that doesn't need the full size of the 9mm? Our goal then was to take a new cartridge, meet that level of performance, but make it as small, a compact, and micro as we can without giving up anything. I would be really hopeful that we'd get something in a good in-between stage, but we actually exceeded those expectations. So. Where, what we found in 30 Super Carry is we have terminal performance that's right up to where 9mm is. So what we've got is, is that whole aspect of more. You've got more rounds in the firearm, you've got potential to make a more compact platform, more concealability, and then it's all about that more confidence. So the terminal performance that we're getting is, right, again, right up against 9. We designed this cartridge from the ground up for the commercial consumer protection category. More changes everything. Welcome, 30 Super Carry.